أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واحد الأخت تم لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters and beloved children جزاك الله خير for joining us again as part of a Ramadan special series where every day we'll be going over the do's and don'ts and the commandments from one chapter one juz of the Quran every day today inshallah we'll be going over just 25 and in this we'll be going over Surah Al Fusilat i.e. they are expounded. Uh, we'll be doing the remaining verses, inshallah, from 47 till the end of 54, and Surah as Shura, i.e., the council, as well as Surah as Zukhraf, ornaments of gold, and Surah al Dukhan, i.e., the smoke, uh, inshallah. And then we'll also be doing Surah as Jathia, which is going to do the first 37 verses. So a total of 201 verses, inshallah. All these five surahs are Meccan. In this, we'll be going over 10 themes, the first of which we're told that you must always be happy with Allah. And Allah tells us, be thankful to Allah in every situation. Be content and satisfied with whatever situation Allah puts you in. The conditions of ungrateful human beings is that they always want happiness. And if they ever get in trouble, they become frustrated. If Allah bestows happiness on them, then they think it was their birthright. Then they live in the delusion that they will be raised after death in the happy circumstance of Allah. And when Allah makes them happy, they turn away from Allah because they think it's due to their capabilities. And when Allah puts them in some type of trial and tribulation, then they start praying to Allah for a long time. The next theme, we're told that you should not divide your religion into multiple or various pieces. Allah tells you, Allah has blessed you with this religion, Islam, which has been the religion of all the prophets. So stick to this religion and don't be dividing this into groups within it. Call the people to this religion and stick to this religion yourself. Believe in the book of Allah, the Qur'an, and explain the truth amongst the people. Don't get bogged down in crooked debates. Concentrate on your work and your duty and speed up your struggle and your work. The wisdom is to reap a good harvest in this world in order to reap a good harvest in the next. If you want the harvest of the hereafter, then Allah will bless you and your harvest. And if you want the harvest of this world, and whatever you get in this world, you will not be getting nothing in the hereafter. The next theme is that Allah accepts the repentance of His servants. And what are the characteristics of Allah's servants? Allah tells us the first two points is that Allah forgives evils and knows your every move. When He talks about the characteristics of the servants, Allah says, Answer the call of Allah and believe in Allah and do good deeds. Allah will bless you very much. Whatever you find, in this world is temporary and perishable. That which is to be found in the sight of Allah is better and more lasting than you will ever find in this world. This is what has been given to those who are steadfast in faith, trust in their Lord, and who abstain from sins and indecencies. They forgive people when they are angry. They put the will of their Lord before them in everything and establish salah, settle matters by mutual consultation. Spend out of the wealth which is given by Allah. And if anybody goes wrong or oppresses them, then they stand firm on their objective and their beliefs. The next theme that we're told about is that your revenge must not be excessive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, if someone hurts you, you can only hurt him as much as he has hurt you. But whoever forgives and tries to improve, he will be rewarded by Allah. He who responds to oppression is not to be blamed. Only those who oppress the people and spread corruption in the land are to be blamed. Remember that Allah hates the wrongdoers and the sinners. And there's a great punishment for the wrongdoers and sinners. Whoever is patient and forgives, it's a matter of great courage. The next thing that Allah tells us about is Allah has made a great arrangement in this earth for you to live in. And Allah tells us, and Allah has placed in these arrangements signs of the life to come. Remember the blessings of Allah and praise Allah. Never forget that you have to return to Allah. Allah has distributed wealth in the world with the wisdom that the business of life should continue. Do not be deceived by this division. This division is made by your Lord Himself and is only for a few days of life. The real thing is the mercy of Allah, which is better than all the treasures of this world. If you want Allah's mercy in the hereafter, Try to avoid Allah's wrath and punishment. Remember Allah. If you neglect the remembrance of Allah, then the devils, the shayateens, will come upon you. 
And shaitan will lead you astray from the right path. And you will be deceived all your life that you are on the right path, even though you are not. Don't be a friend of the shaitan. His friendship is very dangerous and you will regret friendship with shaitan. The next theme we're told about is how you should face the opposition. And Allah tells us, no matter how strong the storm of opposition, hold fast to the book of Allah, the Quran. And have faith, believe that you are on the right path. Get advice from the Quran yourself and keep advising people about the Quran as well. Never forget that you will all be asked and questioned about the spreading of the message of Allah in the Quran. And to be questioned in the sight of Allah. Hate what is bad deeds. The nations that are afflicted with evils and sins find it easy for the shaitan to fool them. Pharaoh's people were drowning in evil. Pharaoh easily fooled them and they all followed Pharaoh. They angered Allah, so Allah drowned them all and made them a lesson for those who came after them. So be aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. Do not be a friend of those who are negligent. The next theme that we're taught is what will happen if you believe on the verses of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to believe in the revelations of Allah and be obedient to Allah. Then paradise is waiting for you. If you want to inherit such a paradise, then do good deeds with which your Lord will be pleased. The Quran is a book that contains all kinds of guidance for life. The Quran has been revealed in a blessed night. This is a very special mercy for you from Allah. Believe in this book, the Quran. And if you do not take advice from this book, you will regret it. The next theme we are told that Allah has not created anything without purpose. Everything has a purpose and a reason for their creation. And Allah tells us, Allah has not created the heavens and the earth without purpose. They are announcing the hereafter with all their signs. You should prepare yourself for escape from the torment of the hereafter. Your glory, the status of today, will not be of any use in the day of judgment. Allah has made the Qur'an an easy book. The Qur'an is easy for anyone to benefit from. You must get advice from the Qur'an and live a life free from the wrath and the punishment of Allah. Then the life of the hereafter will be a life of happiness. Allah has also commissioned the sea to serve you. Enjoy the sea, the blessings from the sea and give thanks to Allah. Allah has placed all things in the heaven and the earth at your service. Consider, ponder about all of the signs. Stand firm in your faith and iman and keep away from those who do not fear the punishment of Allah. SubhanAllah, the next theme that we have is to learn the lessons from Bani Israel, the children of Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Allah gave them the book, wisdom, prophecy, enlightenment, and then bestowed superiority um, for them on all human beings. But despite their knowledge, and only due to their stubbornness and differences, they, Bani Israel, turned against the truth. Allah has also given you a way to live, adopt it, and do not follow the desires of any ignorant person. Remember that Allah becomes the friend of those who avoid the wrath and punishments of Allah. Those who do evil cannot be like those who believe and do good deeds. You must not consider and think that the heavens and the earth and all that's between them are in vain or of no use. One of their purposes is to test all the human beings of mankind and to reward anyone for what they have earned and what they deserved. The next theme that we're taught in this juz is that what happened to those who made gods of their own choices? And what I mean by that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to learn a lesson by looking at the people who have made their favorite deities and gods, even though they have knowledge and wisdom, but they've gone astray. They have ears, but their ears do not hear. They have hearts, but their hearts do not think. They have eyes, but their eyes are blindfolded. They have closed all the doors of guidance on themselves. You must stick to faith and do the good deeds. Then great success is waiting for you. The hellfire is the abode, the home of those who indulge in their evils and sins. And those who mock the revelations of Allah. And those who have forgotten the meeting with Allah. And those who are deceived by this world. All these people will end in hell. We are told that you must praise Allah. And you must speak of the greatness of Allah. Allah is the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth. 
and the Lord of all mankind. Alhamdulillah, with that we conclude this juz. Jazakallah khair again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.